Hello, Veteran 0 and 2 here. Welcome back, and we are replaying Final Fantasy IV. In the last episode, we explored the Lodestone Cavern, and uh, we kind of slogged through it. We can't use metal equipment. And here we are in the Crystal Chamber. And okay, I was just seeing if the dialogue for the thought bubbles would be different, but let's go ahead and talk to the Dark Elf. Yeah, we got through your non-metal cave. Magneto would be proud. So yeah, we're gonna be taking on the Dark Elf. I think the Dark Elf was originally in the, uh, the original game, wasn't he? Astos, I think his name was. But yeah, as you can see, we could barely hurt this guy. You're better off in this battle just doing nothing and just letting him kill you, because that's what's going to happen. Fools, behold the power you face. Okay. So yeah, he's gonna use Vera on us. And that's gonna deal a ton of damage. Wow. It's pretty crazy, huh? Let's come over you. Come on, Spoonie. Quit trying to be heroic. You're not a hero. You're a wuss. Okay, fine. You know, I'll, I'll give Spoonie this. At least he's, you know... At least he's got enough grit to, to save his friends. I'll give him that. It's Spoonie's shining moment, if you will. That's Spoonie's heart. What is this torturous noise? No! Right. Cool. Yes, this, our swords and metal crap are free again. So yeah, that was the purpose of the Whisper Weed. And it's crazy that a harp could do this crap. Alright, well, anyways. What I want to do now is equip... Uh, well, I'm not going to change too much. I'm going to equip a Mithra Graven Blade. On Cecil. Also, if I didn't mention before, the Mythgraven Blade is wholly elemental. So, yeah. That's a good thing. The next, uh, this guy that we're about to fight is actually, well, he's weak to holy. He's also weak to fire as well. And, hold on a second, man. My freaking cord is killing me right now. Alright, there we go. Alright, I think we're all set and ready to go, so let's talk to the Dark Elf. I will kill you all! Yeah, sure you will, buddy. But yeah, this battle is kind of tricky. Oh, this guy has a very, very powerful attack. He, he likes to use... Yeah, I'm going to use Bluff. To, uh... Get Teptel ready for... What he's going to have to do ahead. And yeah, I want to get a Bomb Fragment... On Sid with his uh... Yeah, I want to get a Cura spell going here too, so I don't die. That takes priority. Uh, who needs it? I guess Sid does. His magic defense sucks. 
Uh, what else can I do to this guy here? Yeah, I want to get slow on this guy if I can. It should help out. Got to deal like a certain amount of damage to this guy. Uh, and then he will change forms. So actually, you know what? I know what I want to do for this earlier part. I want to find my... Where the hell are they? Bacchus Wines. There we go. And I want to use one of those on Sid. And... That way he'll start attacking more. I want to use the other one I got. Or another one, I should say, on Yang. And this will help when he changes forms, too. Because he won't change, like, his uh, elemental weaknesses or anything like that. And yeah, I gotta use Bluff again, because I use Tullus Magic. Forgot about that. What the hell are you missing for? Holy shit. Yeah, then he puts Bio on you. That puts Sap on your party, which sucks. Balls. Eventually this guy will change forms. It does take a while, though. This Sap, this sap thing he's got going on does suck, because... Makes it so I gotta heal more frantically with Cecil to keep our HP up. Be nice if you would change forms. Okay, cool. He's changing forms. Faraga. Go, Tella. Come on, man. Don't miss. Deal damage. You SOBs. Go! Do it! Come on, Tala! Oh, crap! The bastard one-shot at Sid. But he's dead. Yeah, that was cheap, huh? Yeah, one lousy attack in and he one-shot at Sid. But yeah, that's the attack power of this fucking guy. It's crazy. So you want to kill him as fast as possible. Yeah, Sid gaining levels, that doesn't matter, really. I mean, it helps, but... It doesn't matter. We got him. I guess I could have uh, used Blink in that battle to help uh, stop that from happening, but, eh, we didn't need to, so whatever. Alright, we obtained the Earth Crystal. Very, very nice. So yeah, that was easy. You need to bring... Where's your race? Well, there we go. Bring him back. How much is teleport? Do you even know tele... Yeah. How much is that? 20? I'll just have Cecil heal him. Yeah, that guy is not hard as long as you kill him quickly. He also has some kind of a... I forgot what it's called, but it's like a dark elemental attack against all party members. It does a ton of damage as well. It doesn't do as much damage against Cecil if you have a luster shield equipped, but uh, yeah, that really, really sucks if he does that attack as well. His As you saw, his physical attack is nothing to sneeze at. It's freaking crazy. Anyways, now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and use teleport. And we'll get the hell out of here. And then when we get on the black chocobo, it will automatically take us back to its home. So there you go, Joe. Alright, MP restored. And we're just going to walk back to Chocobo, but why walk when you can just ride? Makes 
makes it a lot easier, doesn't it? I don't have to worry about enemy encounters. Alright, I'm going to save my game and be right back. Alright, all set, ready to go, I think. Now we're back at Troya Castle again. Yeah, we gotta return the crystal to the, the E-Pops. The Popsicle ladies. I don't know. Whenever I hear the word e popped I think of uh, Popsicles. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it rhymes with Popsicles, I guess? I don't know. I don't know why I think about that stuff. I'm just weird, I guess. I don't know. Where are you? Yeah, where are you, Kane? You jerk. You traitor. Well, before we go to the crystal room and talk to the popsicle ladies, we're actually going to go see Spoony because he actually saved our lives. So we should at least say thanks to Spoony. Because the only thing he's good at doing is playing his harp, and that actually happened to save our lives. How about that, huh? Thanks a lot, Spoony. Yeah, and it sure did. Nice job. This character won't do anything else useful for the rest of his life. <laughs> Because he'll become the king of Damn Cyan and he'll be the worst king ever. Oh, yeah, he's brave. Well, I don't know. I don't know if he was brave. I mean, he was just determined to help us out, given his health. So I, I wouldn't necessarily call that brave. I mean, hell, those fucking. Idiot attendants could have just as easily brought him his harp. I mean, couldn't he have played his harp in bed? He could have just asked them to bring the harp to him, right? I, I don't know. I don't understand it. But whatever, whatever works. If they wanna, if they wanna ham up the drama. That's fine. All right. So yeah, for coming back here and talking with Spoonie after the events of defeating the Dark Elf, we get the Bard Song augment. Uh, if you had given Spoony augments uh, before he left your party originally, uh, before boarding the ship at Fabul, uh, I believe for one augment he would have given you the Salve ability, and for two augments he would have given you the Hide ability. So there you go. Those augments to me are, well, Salve is pretty good, but I can get that in the next playthrough. It's not, in my opinion, worth getting in the first playthrough. But you can get in the second and third playthroughs easy enough, so you might as well just wait. Alright, so at this point, before you go up and talk to the E-Pops, uh, make sure that you have nothing else to do around the world. Like, say, you, you want to take the airship to Baron and get some items there. Or you want to go to Evelyn Castle and raid the treasures. If you don't want to do that stuff, then go right ahead and go up here and talk to the Epops. Or Epops, or whatever these things are. These ladies are. The crystal. Yeah. Should be kissing my ass. Oh, wait a minute. What the hell? Why is it whenever these bad guys appear, this you gotta make the screen purple? Rosa is being held in a tower. And yeah, this tower is actually, like, in the sky. So, uh, once we go there, uh, well, we can leave and come back, but... Let's say we defeat the tower, we won't be able to go back to the tower, which doesn't really make sense. 
but we won't be able to go back well actually it does make sense because the tower crumbles but yeah in the next area if you're trying to fall out the bestiary uh it might be a little difficult because there are enemies in that area that are kind of rare and uh you have to kind of walk around and fight for a while to find the ones you want so yeah it might be kind of difficult to um to get all the enemies i'm not going to really concern myself with it too much if i'm going to do that I'll probably do that in subsequent playthroughs, you know, filling out the bestiary. I'll probably show off the enemies. Uh, if I don't encounter them this playthrough, like the second playthrough, if I actually do encounter that enemy that I missed, I'll try and show it off. So yeah, they're going to let us raid their treasure vaults. That is pretty sweet. We will gladly do that. Alright. Hey, lady. Open up. Alright, we're going to be getting a lot of crap. Remedies are good. So are ethers. Dry ethers are nice too. Elixirs are great. So are echo herbs. Great bows are okay if you like bows. Elemental fire arrows and 5,000 gill. Anything in the corners over here? Okay, nothing. Whatever. And we get some elemental lightning arrows. 50,000 gill. <laughs> That's pretty crazy, huh? Alright, we get a silver apple. Yeah, I'm going to go over that item real quick. Uh, you can farm for these items from certain enemies in the game. Basically what a silver ap apple does is, is it uh, increases max HP by 50. So if you have a character with low HP, then, uh, well, then this item is really good. It permanently increases max HP by 50. Since these items carry over to a new game plus, or second and third playthroughs, however you want to term it, uh, it's a good idea to hold on to them to the last playthrough that you're going to play. And then use them then with your final party members. So yeah, I'm not going to use the silver apple, I'm just going to hold on to it. Uh, you can farm up to, you can hold as much as 99 in your inventory. But that's with all items. So in case you didn't know that, that's how it goes. So there you go, that's all the treasure we can get here in the Trojan Castle. Are we going to start, oh yeah, we're going to start seeing different stuff now. Yeah, I don't think they will. I think they're going to put up a fight first. Tala, the only thing he's thinking about doing is casting Meteor. And we got to save Rosa. Definitely, man. That is the number one priority. Got to save the girlfriend. Oh, thank you very much, Troya. There's one thing that we can actually do now. Since we raided the treasure vault, we should have enough money. If I go to my menu here, we should have over a hundred thousand gil, and we do. How about that, huh? So, yeah, I want to go to the pub. I want to talk to this lady here. And I want to purchase a member's writ. 
What can we do with this member's writ, you ask? Well, we can talk to this guy and he'll ask for it. Oops, uh, where the hell... Oh, here it is. Very nice. So this is the King's Bounty Pub. It's kind of like the uh, VIP area of this place. Or this kingdom. So yeah, let's go watch the show, man. What kind of show is this? Whoa, that's a lot of women. Nice. Wow, oh, man, with all these dancing girls around, this place is pretty empty. There's only one dirty old man hanging around this area that's here besides us, I and mean, it's crazy. Figure there'd be a lot more men in this area. I guess maybe they don't have the gill to be spending to uh, to come to a place like this. And they disappear. What the frick? That doesn't really make sense. Sus is like, oh my goodness, I can't believe they're gone. And you're not even gonna comment or think about the girls you just saw? Uh, yeah. I like to jerk off in the morning, sometimes. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Anyways, if we come over here, and uh, after that event there, we can actually get... Come on, get it, Cecil. Pick it up. Pick it up. All right, we get the Gill Farmer Augment. Now, I believe when you uh, equip this item on, or this augment on a character on the Battle Command, uh, I think you get like 50% more Gill at the end of battles. And yeah, that lady's mad that we're in her dressing room. But anyways, that's all for this episode of replaying Final Fantasy IV. In the next episode, we're going to board our airship meet up with Kane and head to this tower that Rose is being held captive at. This is Veteran 0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.